Well, what do you say I throw in a little sexual harassment charge to boot? <laughs> Against who? Against you. Can you prove that you didn't offer to save my job if I let you blow me? Man, you are one twisted fuck. Nope. I'm just an ordinary guy with nothing to lose. If you're subscribed to this channel, or if you just like film in general, you've probably seen American Beauty. If not, you should probably leave this video right now and, um, yeah. Now, this has been said a countless number of times, but American Beauty is a perfect movie. At least to me and whoever else has said this. In fact, as generic as this is about to sound coming from a film student, it's one of my favorite films ever. There are millions of things about this film to talk about, but to me the one that I need to address the most is the title itself, American Beauty. So what does it mean? Well, to me, the title is getting across the same message that the film is getting across, as it should. That message being how masculinity works in middle-class America. Well, what exactly about American Beauty addresses masculinity? Let's start with the release year for the film, 1999. The 90s were a time of grunge, a time where masculinity was defined much differently than it is today. A time where beauty and man just didn't go together, let alone a white, middle-class, 42-year-old man named Lester. People like Lester were less likely to be perceived, at least on the outside, as people who were searching for beauty the way that he does in this film. This film couldn't have been told through the perspective of anyone besides Lester's character because the toxic masculinity that surrounds being a man in this typical, perfect, suburban family limits all opportunity to express oneself without upsetting or disturbing those around him. That being said, the film also addresses just that, that disturbance coming from those around him. As skewed as this becomes throughout the film, Lester's main goal is finding true beauty. Now despite how he gets this across to those in his life, that remains his goal. What happens when this character attempts to achieve such a goal? Well, things fall apart, as expected. This is what the film is telling us. When beauty, something often affiliated with femininity for whatever reason, is brought into Lester's life, we find those affiliated with him crumbling as he searches for what we all secretly want but are too afraid to go for, beauty. The roses being a pretty clear example of that throughout the film. Masculinity in America is so destructive that, intentionally or not, it destroys not only the masculine subject, but those around him as well, when such a role is broken in even the slightest. Now, back to that previous phrase and the word America, our first part of the title. We've seemed to address the beauty part to a certain extent, but what about American? What makes the beauty in the film American? The odd part about how this film works is the things that come across as beautiful aren't beautiful unless unattainable. This is put almost perfectly in this borderline pretentious scene with the paper bag flying through the air. This bag wouldn't be beautiful if it were just laying on the ground or if it were being seen in front of us. The writer chooses to have them watch the scene through a TV screen as a way of showing how beautiful the bag is and how unattainable it is. They can't just walk up to it and interact with it, similar to how Lester can't just walk up to Angela and, you know, show any signs of real love. The screen that divides the kids from the bag is a symbol for societal norms blocking Lester from Angela, Jane from Ricky, at least temporarily, and Colonel Frank from his own sexuality throughout the film. This follows us up all the way to the final scene as Ricky stares Lester down as he lies motionless on the table. Ricky has lost all ability to interact with Lester due to his death, which makes him all the more beautiful. It's this shot that can be defined most simply as American beauty, a form of beauty that can only be found in America because it's defined by its limitations set forth by society. This is just the tip of the iceberg that is this film and the dozens of intentional meanings that come with it. American Beauty stands where it does as one of the greatest films ever for good reason. It's a film that sits with the audience member, a film that makes you think, and a film that makes you ponder your own existence without being incredibly cheesy. The film doesn't need a million cast members, crazy CGI effects, or any stereotypical drama scenes for it to get across some of the best messages to ever come out of film and to remain one of the most important films, period. As always, don't forget to subscribe, go watch a movie, preferably this one again, and thank you for watching.